Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2 100% No Pikmin Lost Challenge. We're on episode 12, and we finally, finally, finally hit the final floor. Now, if you know anything about this game, you know what this floor entails. Fortunately, it's not going to be a challenge at all. I figured out the, the best way to fight this guy. So, uh, I guess, let's just, uh, let's get started with that right now. So, this is gonna go quick. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna wake him up. We're gonna put some pigment on him. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna do it again. More Pikmin, as fast as we can. And he's done. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yes. Finally, the light bulb. I've been waiting so long for this. This is going to very, very rapidly increase. Um, well, I guess that doesn't make sense. Very rapidly increase what? No, it's going to make uh, viewing on YouTube and even playing for me much, much easier. Look at that. Look at how much brighter that is. It's so nice. What a wonderful stellar orb. The syn synthetic sun. <laughs> the solar system. There we go. Look at that. These caves are going to be so much easier now that I can actually see what's happening in them. Alright, so. That guy, for those who wanted to see bad things happen, he's basically got a machine gun. <laughs> and he likes to fire at Pikmin and kill them in one shot, so. I wanted to make sure he didn't have a chance to do that because it would have ended poorly. Trust me, I've tried to fight him before without... Like, while avoiding his machine gun. Oh, silly me, I was look, not looking for the geyser, I was looking for the cave to go down. So. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I have that method with the, uh, with the bitter spray to paralyze him. If you do it once he, once he crouches down to shake your Pikmin off like that, he... 1399, that's a weird number. If you do it while he's trying to shake your Pikmin off, then he's at a low enough height that all of your Pikmin can get on him and you can just kind of throw as fast as you can, and then he's very, very easy. Wait a minute, did I not finish the cave? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Well, that's not good. Emergence caves. Oh no. I must have missed a treasure in there somewhere. Well, I guess we're heading back down. Give me a second and I'll I'll stop I'll start recording again once I get to the the sub level that actually has the treasure I missed, I guess. Let's go find out. Okay, since we're probably not going to be back, I've decided, or back over here anytime soon, I've decided that we should probably pick up uh, this and carry it back before we go into the cave again to find the missing treasure. So uh, I'll be back with you once this is back at the where it should be. Oh, there they go! They made it! Perfect. I'll grab these Pikmin and run them back to that cave over there, and then we'll uh, we'll head on down and take a look at whatever it is we missed. Down we go. Hmm, it looks like it's somewhere on the first sub-level here that we missed it. I'm sure somebody was like... <laughs> 
shaking their head when they saw me leave in the first level. I didn't even notice it when I was doing the video. Editing the video, that is. Very strange, very odd. What's going up? Maybe it's buried over here. Yeah, that's where it is, okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any way of being able to tell if this is the last treasure in the cave. Oh, I can do that. What is that? A skateboard wheel? No, it's a, it's a phone, uh... Phone dial. Okay, well I guess I'll take this back and see if it's the last thing on the sub-level. Very, very strange. Very strange indeed. Hmm. Now it's the last one. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just quickly, like, dive through the rest of the sub-levels until uh, I, I hit the nearest geyser and then I'll leave and see if it, uh, see if I got everything in the cave now. See if that was the only thing I missed. Okay, so I'll, I'll see you again when I hit the geyser. Look at how much brighter that is. Holy crap. That is so much better. I wish I was going through the cave like this in the first place. Jesus. Well, would you look at that? This is the break room that I missed in the last video, but all of the flowers came back. I will take it. I am not going to complain about that. In fact, maybe I should continue going down until I get to the other break room and then get the purple pigment again. I think I might do that. I did it. We're back at the, uh, the other midpoint. So, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to get a few more pigment. A few more purple pigment. All the mistakes I made, made always seem to be blessings in disguise somehow. Oops, I must have forgotten. A blue somewhere. Oh boy. <laughs> Where did he get off to? There he is. I've always got even numbers of... Or the, I know how many numbers of Pikmin I have, so I can never uh, mess up like that. Anyway, I'll collect some purple Pikmin, and then I'll probably head up the geyser. Yeah, there's one in here, so I'll do that. Alright, is that the last thing? It is! Hooray! Cave complete. I have no idea how I missed that the first time. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Check this out. We've got an entire party full of nothing but white and purple Pikmin. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that just the coolest thing? We got 55 purple Pikmin. That's preposterous. Okay, we want 20. Because we are headed down another cave. Right now. We're bringing 20 of each. And I'll meet you over by the cave when I get enough Pikmin. Alright, we're back over here. Because there's a few things in this cave that we want next. So, this is where we're heading now. Okay, we're going in here because there's two very important things that we'd like to get our hands on. Two things. The first is the uh, the stronger punch for Olimar and Louie, so they do more damage when you're just uh, punching without any Pikmin. The second is... Oh, come on. This thing. Did he go away? He went away. Okay. Oh wow, we haven't seen one of these purple things before. 
The stronger punch is, uh, there's a few enemies I really do not want to get my Pikmin close to, even if they're very weak, because they're, they're just gonna kill Pikmin in one hit before I even have a chance to, like, do anything to them, so. The punch is useful for that, so that, uh, my Pikmin don't need to get used to them, need to get close to them, and I can still kill them. So that's what the punch is gonna be for. And then, later on in this sub-level, or in this cave, we'll actually get, um, the faster run speed as well, which is not really actually that important, because of, uh, the purple Pikmin will still be lagging behind anyway, but it's still nice for running around when you're just using Olimar and Louie. So both of those are very good for uh, no Pikmin loss challenge, because they let you do more without having Pikmin with you at all, so it rem removes a lot of the risk involved. So that's what we're doing in here. Oh man! These guys are just everywhere. Kinda want the stuff that they give though. Even though it's not really a treasure or anything. If you wait too long and they just burrow back into the ground and you don't get whatever it is they drop. Oh, we missed him. Okay, that's fine. I highly doubt he had a treasure. And if he did, we always can come back down here later, so... Where is the treasure that I'm missing? I can hear it. Is it under the ground? Oh, it is too. Okay. Now let's not forget to make sure we get all the treasure this time. <laughs> we don't want to do that again. We don't want to come back down here if we can help it. I'll be back once they get to the ship. They should be back right about now, and I've discovered another treasure underground. So I'm in the process of digging that out. Oh, look at, look at that. And I assume there might be one more around here somewhere. I can see my meter going up, but that might just be the thing that they're carrying, so. We'll see if this is the last thing in the sub-level. Essence of Rage. That is it. Alright. So I'll see you guys on the next sub-level. Okay, here we are on the next sub-level. It's looking a little bit scary, because there's uh, some of those red guys. And somehow that white guy woke up. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is uh, do a little of this action again. We've seen it in the past. Just uh, dispatch him that way. And I'll probably do the same thing for the red guy himself. And I'll do that probably between episodes, actually, because this is going to be the end of the episode right here. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll clean these guys out. Uh, before the next episode, and then we'll come through and clean up the place. Alright, so, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.